Hi there, Robin here, and today we've got the Audio Technica AT2020 USB Plus. The big feature on this is definitely the Plus. The AT2020 is a great signature microphone when it comes to condensers. In the price range, you can't miss with this actual microphone. The advantages now we have an actual built-in audio interface and they didn't just slap an audio interface to say they did it. Their audio interface is pretty smart because when I actually start Audacity, which is the program I use on a PC, Audacity actually can set this Unity up only at halfway up the scale, which gives me a lot of freedom if I'm doing a live to be able to move up the actual volume of this microphone easily, which is very important because not all USB microphones are created the same and certainly Audacity sees that when you plug it in. I'm very impressed on how easy it is to set a microphone like this up, especially when you have a good microphone plugged in. A lot of people do fight with the volume levels after the fact. That's not going to be the case with the actual Audio-Technica AT2020 USB+. It is a mouthful, isn't it? Now, when you buy the microphone, you do get the basic accessory package, so it is ready to go out of the box. It does come with a three meter, basically 10 foot long cable. My favorite, the pencil case, so you can actually put this microphone away if you want. It's nice and padded inside, and their name is embossed on it. It's a very nice little add-on. It also comes with what I call a display stand. Now, a full-on working proper stand, if you're going to have something on a table, should look like something like this. Now you can see how much more beefier that is with the cast iron base. That's a much better stand if you're looking at putting this microphone right on the table. It does come with the universal joint on the bottom, which screws on and holds on to the actual noise dampening system built inside, which basically keeps the mic separate from the outer case. Now the plus portion of this actual microphone has to do with how it interacts with your headphones, which aren't included if you buy just a microphone. So you're going to want to make sure you have a pair. Now at the same time, it's a 3.5 connection, which is great because it's a small compact system and the USB cable just drapes out through the bottom. All of those things are okay. But what makes this special is the fact that the monitoring option capabilities. Now they use old school technical terms. They go from, they say mic to com, which is basically your computer. But what it's really saying is that I can go from listening directly from the microphone to my headphones. So I get no delay, no echo, nothing like that. And I can actually pan across to my computer. And when I'm pan to my computer, I can do things like listen to other people. If I have a call going on, or if I have multiple people talking at the same time through the system and, or I can also have it for backtracks so I can hear what else is going on. If I'm doing voiceover, I can certainly use that so I can hear where the actual, where I'm at in my actual audio track and easily lay down the new replacement audio if I have to do that. You can do that with this microphone because of that one simple feature that not all USB microphones have. And that's the capability of either monitoring my headphones or monitoring the computer. So this microphone also has, a, like we mentioned earlier, the headphone input jack so we can hear everything that's going on, which is why we have the monitor, but we also have a volume control. So we control how loud our headphones are without having to go back to the computer all the time and messing around with the volume there. Another big advantage to this particular model. Now the Achilles heel to this model is how good the microphone pickup actually is. It is very, very good. It is a condenser microphone, of course, and it is of course the AT2020. So right off the hop, we know it's gonna sound great. The only downfall is, is they don't include any type of pop filter in the actual system when you buy it, and they don't include a sponge cover to put over it. So you do need to keep your distance, talk over the mic if you have to. You'll notice that that's gonna sound better than trying to figure out how to get rid of all the popping sounds if you don't have a pop filter. And the popping sounds are definitely coming off of the P's, the T's, the S's. You gotta watch it with that, which is why I have this microphone down here on an angle versus having it right in front of me. Uh, I do have a video where I do talk closer on the microphone. It's the kit version and you do notice a lot more popping sounds there. I do want to keep it as natural to the product as possible. Of course, I can window dress it up if I want to, but that's not really going to help you out. So definitely a pop filter is going to help make this better or an actual sponge cover on the unit. Outside of that, I hope this video is helpful today in your buying decision. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. Like I say, thanks for watching. Bye for now.